Hi friends, welcome to my channel. For those of you that are new here, my name is Caitlin and I like to film eyeshadow palette ranking and review videos, as well as the occasional other content sprinkled in. So if you like indie makeup, if you like eyeshadow palettes, if you like me, I highly recommend that you hit that subscribe button because it was two videos every single week. And for those of you that are not new here, my face is happy that you are seeing it again. And I am so excited for today's video. We are going to be doing, as you can see from the title, two looks with the Aurora Lights palette from Simply Posh Cosmetics. I wanna say thank you to Simply Posh for gifting me this palette. There was no obligation to post or do anything with this palette, so any of my opinions that I share are mine, but I did just wanna acknowledge that Simply Posh is a brand that consistently sends me PR and I am so grateful to them for that. That. but <clears throat> I would have bought this if they send it to, didn't send it to me I knew that as soon as I saw this packaging I was like oh I hope I'm getting that one because if I'm not I'm, pe I'm picking it up and then they showed the inside and I was like oh yeah I'm grabbing that one for sure so um, when I got the shipping notification I was like yes <laughs> so excited so let's talk a little bit about this palette then we're gonna do two looks with it and then I'll share my Initial thoughts, because I don't think I'm going to get through all 18 shades in two looks, so I'll share my thoughts on the sh shadows that I did use, how they performed. I am using this palette in the morning, so I'll be able to test wearability throughout the day. So yeah, let's get into it. Sorry you all had to stare at my super dry lips for that intro. I put lip oil on finally. Okay. Anyway, so this palette has a 12-month open container, cruelty-free, paraben-free, mineral oil-free, and talc-free. Uh, pressed pigment shades are not intended for use around the immediate eye area. If you have a question on that, let me know down below. I did, last time I said that, I was like, it, I, you know, we've talked about it so many times, but then somebody didn't know. So if you're new here, um, I have mentioned it in a lot of videos, so I don't want to be redundant, but anyways. Comment down below if you have a question on why the pressed pigment shades are not intended for use around the immediate eye area. So the eye, there's four eyeshadow shades and 14, I said 18, okay, I cannot do math. Four eyeshadow shades, 14 pressed pigments. So if you're somebody that is concerned about utilizing pressed pigments around the eye, probably not the one for you because there's only four shades that are considered eyeshadows. Um, the eyeshadows have mica, in their ingredients and then so do the pressed pigments i don't see any talc so oh it said talc free duh why did i read through that okay anywho um okay let's just admire this beautiful color story one more time oh my god oh it's so pretty okay i am so ready to do a look with this i don't know what i want to do so we're just gonna figure it out i do have meetings today <laughs> but that's okay we're just we're gonna do it and I'm not gonna even feel bad about it because I'm sorry but the like purple row here is perfect with this sweater but also I really want to use this like hot pink shimmer so we're just gonna figure it out <laughs> we're just going to figure it out so I am starting with this my favorite shade in the palette <laughs> from the eyeball test uh is the shade swirling actually when I swatched it I think my favorite shades were electric and magical and aurora but you know dazzling and twink all of the shimmers were really pretty but anyway swirling like when i just look at it that color of purple is my absolute favorite so i have primed my lids with my hourglass eyeshadow base so we got that going on and before i forget i do have an affiliate code with simply posh it is caitlin and it will save you 10 percent and if you decide to use it to pick this or anything else up from them, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Um, I know the palette will have already launched by the time this video goes up, but hopefully <clears throat> there's still some of you that are debating on it. And hopefully it's still available. I don't know if this is one that's going to sell out or not. It's always kind of hard when brands launch makeup so close to the holidays. You like never know. Like, are people going to be like, oh yeah, I need that because a lot of stuff has kind of slowed down overall? Or are they like in the holiday gift buying season <laughs> and they're like, I can't afford to buy myself something, so I'm going to have to wait. You know what I mean? This purple is so pretty. So funny story, this palette actually arrived 
at the same time as my Adept Cosmetics Element 115. So we are gonna have, um, I'm gonna do a look with that palette as well, um, but I think I'm gonna do that palette with my Gourmand Girl Silent Night and I think I might do two looks, or I think, I don't know. I haven't decided. I'm gonna do something with both of those because I don't know that I have enough time to squeeze in a dedicated video, but anywho. What I was gonna say, funny thing about it is I re when I didn't think that either of these palettes were like that similar, but then when they came in I was and I had them right next to each other, I was like, oh, there are a couple of shades that are, you know, sort of similar. I definitely think overall they're not, they're not the same, um, but they have, like when you just look at them, an overall similar vibe. And I thought that was funny because I didn't even notice that. <laughs> but that is okay with me personally because I love this kind of a color story, so I do not care. Also, are you guys gonna be really surprised that I'm not doing a purple, blue, green look? I'm growing, I'm growing as a person. It's a purple and pink look, but I kind of regret adding this purple in. It's like more of a magenta-y purple. It's definitely warm compared to the cool tone purple, but that's okay. We'll be okay, I think. I'm gonna add a, another darker purple that's cool toned as well. So I think it'll work out or it won't. And then I'll tell all of you, if you recreate this look, skip this step. <laughs> How are all of you doing with your Christmas shopping? Are you done yet? Are you almost done? I have two people left to buy for and I, um, need to wrap every gift, but I'm wrapping all of my gifts tomorrow at my mom's house. We're doing a, like, um, we're gonna wrap presents together and then uh, watch the Taylor Swift uh, heiress tour, <laughs> rent rent the movie to watch it while we wrap presents. So uh, I'm looking forward to that. And then my mom's also making like a bunch of cookies and stuff because we're doing a cookie decorating at her house the day after. So I'm excited to eat some sweets but not too many sweets because my glucose test is on. I don't know if that makes a difference, but I probably sh shouldn't eat too unhealthy right before. That doesn't seem like a great idea. Um, it's the next week, so. Ooh, actually I do like those two purples together. Those blended together so nicely. Mm -hmm, okay. At first it was like, ooh, I don't know about that, but then they blended together and they actually look really nice together. I like that. I don't think I said which shade I used, but I had just used Breathtaking. So now we're gonna go into Brilliant, which is that one down there. What I really like about this palette is it's almost like two nine pan color stories. Like you can kind of see like nine pan, nine pan, um, which I think is sort of helpful if you're if you're somebody who does better with like a nine pan color story. This is essentially two nine pan palettes in one. Um, so yeah, I thought that was cool. I personally do better with over 10 eyeshadows. Like 10, I found that anything under 10, I'm like, I don't know what to do with that. <laughs> there's a there's the occasional nine or eight pan that I'm like, I can get down with, but, um, and not that I don't know what to do with, actually that's not true. I know what to do with it. I just don't feel like I get enough variety. So I know what to do with it to like an extent and then that's it. And then I'm like, okay, then I never reach for them again. They just feel like more companion palettes to me. Whereas if I have, more shades, I feel better. But my preferred spot would be like 18 to, gosh, I think like 10 to 18 shades. Yeah, maybe. I don't, I don't hate a 20 pan. I don't hate a 20 pan. Okay, these mattes are pigmented. People are getting a very bright purple look from me at work today. Oh, I might have to switch up the I don't know. Now I'm tempted. Now I'm tempted. Do I want to go green blue? <laughs> green blue with the shimmer. Ah, I really want to use that pink though. Let me see. Yeah, that's pretty. Mm, look at that purple. Are you freaking kidding me? That's the shade electric. Oh my God. When I swatched it, I was like, that is the most beautiful shade <laughs> I have ever seen. Um, okay. All right, let's do it. Let's just go with what my original plan was. I was all proud of myself for not doing a green, blue, purple look. Let me not be enticed. And I am spraying my brush with Fix Plus because that is what I always do with my shimmers. Oh, oh that pink, blue, duochrome delightfulness. I knew that hot pink shade was also gonna be a vibe. I knew it. This is a shade Dazzling, by the way. It's the hot pink shimmer. I'm not gonna hold up the palette because I'm 
in the middle of something. <laughs> People at work, I, okay, I think I've mentioned this in a video where I was like, I got a new job and I kind of feel like a little bit weird in my new role, um, you know, doing like really dramatic looks. So I've done colorful looks, but I've kept them l lower key than this is. So I'm gonna go into these meetings today and people are gonna be like, wow, <laughs> you really, uh, really went for it today. So like I've done colorful looks, but they've been like softer. I haven't built them up like quite as much. Anyways, it's not a big deal, but it's just funny. Uh, so I'm gonna take the shade Electric now, which is my probably now gonna be my favorite shimmer in this palette. If you want the like true duochrominess to shine, like just use one shimmer at a time. But <clears throat> for the sake of like trying this out for you guys, I try to use as many as I can so that you can get the overall vibe of the palette. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay, let me see. Can we see any shiftiness happening on the lid? Probably not with these lights, but I'm gonna keep doing this just for fun. Okay, I took that purple over too far, so we lost the pink. So let's see if we can bring that back a little bit. These are just sort of blending together at this point, so I'm just gonna need to do the same thing on the other side. Whoopsies. Maybe it's just the shiftiness. All right, I think that's fine. Okay, and then... We're gonna take one more shimmer. Just, I don't know, to do it. So we're gonna take the shade Aurora now, which this is a very shifty shade as well. I'm putting this um, on like a little inner corner brush. And I'm doing this before I do my base just because I wanted to see if I actually liked it. It's a little gold. It kind of reminds me of the shade, um, is it Pearl in the Lure palette? I feel like it's kind of similar to that. Oh, that is so stinking beautiful. Oh my gosh. And I'm not trying to just like toot my own horn. I feel like that's like just turned out really pretty. I'm trying to decide if I want to go for a liner too. I feel like I do. I'm acting like I have all the time in the world and I do not. We're gonna do a shadow wing and I'm gonna use the black in this palette, which is the shade Night Sky. I know a lot of people have opinions on having like a black or a white in a palette. Personally, I love it. I have said this before, but I'm gonna say it again, but I think having a black or a white adds to the versatility of the palette and it works for people who just only wanna use that palette. So, and I I know a lot of people are like, that's just like, like social media, like content creators who care about only using one palette. That's not a thing but I have received comments from people who are like, for their brains and how their brains work, they're like, there's absolutely no way that I could combine two different eyeshadow palettes. Like I can only use one. So I do think it's worth it to mention in the case of those people, but I also like to highlight it just because I know for those of you that are like, I don't wanna spend that much money on something when I have two of the shades already because I already have a black or a white. So um, there you go, but personally, I think it adds to the versatility. I love doing shadow wings. So having a black in the palette works for me because it's basically my black liner anytime I use that palette, every time. So as long as it's a good black. My friend Alicia from Alicia's Budget Beauty had said in one of her recent, I think it was her Silent Night video from Gourmand Girls. She was, I don't know if she said it in the video or if she said it in the comments, but she was just saying like a good black eyeshadow is the best way to, like that's a good, or maybe somebody else said it. <laughs> somebody in her comment section had said it and then her and I agreed with them, but uh, I think somebody had said that the, uh, t like a good performing black, like just really go like shows you the quality of the palette. And I agree with that. I think you got good black. You're probably working with some good other shadows for sure. One thing to know about me is I'm very particular about how diffused my mats are in my crease and these mats are pigmented and I probably could have spent more time blending um, than I did but I'm gonna go in with a translucent powder just because I want those edges slightly softer okay this is essentially going to be the eye look I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup and come back and show you the finished look okay here is the finished look ignore my base makeup I came back 
seven hours after you last saw me um, because I had to go to work. I had meetings, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, um, done now though. So here it is. I did not touch up the eye look at all. So you're getting a view of what this looks like after seven hours of wear. The only thing I did is when I put on my makeup, I put the concealer a little bit over where I had that shade Aurora in the inner corner and then I just tapped over it with the highlighter that I used as my face highlight because it was a little too gold for me and I didn't I wasn't really feeling the gold. It's a beautiful shade. I just wasn't feeling it for this look and then um, Yeah, did the same mattes on bottom that I did on top. I do feel like I was able to blend out the shade swirling um, I like diffuse it without needing any translucent powder on the bottom. So I do think you can, at least with swirling and bright, I would think that you could probably get those to apply lightly. Um, I'm not sure about the other shades, but we'll, you know, see TBD. Um, I'm, I think they can't, they look pretty light, uh, but you don't, if they are too dark for you, you can do the translucent setting powder trick or you can mix it with a white. Um, as well, but I felt like I was able to blend it out and get like a diffused look, but I, to be fair, I did use translucent powder. So just want to acknowledge that. Listen, I've only used this one time, but so far I think this might be my favorite Simply Posh palette ever. This is so good. Like these duochrome shades are insane. Um, the shade Electric, I am absolutely obsessed with. And I'm trying to decide if tomorrow I want to go for like a gray teal look and use Magical. Or if I want to do like a green, green gray look and then do Aurora and Light Show. And I'm not, I'm not sure so hard um so anyways we'll see you'll you'll see tomorrow's look uh right now okay time for look number two hopefully my microphone doesn't sound weird i messed around with my mic placement yesterday but anyways i wanted to point out that we obviously have a tiny little bit of staining uh from what i would assume is the shimmer and i think it's the purple shimmer because it looks like it's concentrated where the purple shimmer was but it's entirely possible it was the pink shimmer. But one of those two shimmers we used yesterday did leave staining on the lid. I double cleansed and have tried to wipe off my makeup twice and this is what is left. Uh, so yeah, if you're not a fan of staining, just a fair warning. And then I think when I left you all yesterday, I was torn between doing like a murky gray blue, like teal look with the shade Magical or doing something with Aurora and Light Show. And I think we're gonna go with Aurora and Light Show. And I'm gonna save the murky teal look for another day. So I'm not gonna do a gray on this. I think I'm gonna stick to the greens in the crease. Also, I watched my friend Alicia from Alicia Budget Beauty. I will link her video down below. I watched her video with this palette and her looks were seriously insane. She did such an amazing job. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna link her video because I feel like you all would benefit from seeing the looks that she created. They were so beautiful. And I didn't tell you what I just did. I just worked the shade Glow, which is this green, um, into my crease. And I decided to go this route because I wanted to see if the green, if we could diffuse it enough to like have it be a crease, like a good crease color. And for me, I think it is. I think it's working as a crease color. Um, I went in light and then lightly dusted it, and I think it works. I do think these are very pigmented mattes, so if you wanted to pack a punch, you could uh, if you packed these on, but I think if you use a big, like a bigger or like more fluffy brush that like will diffuse the pigment more and then go in light and just like kind of lightly dust, you can get it there for a nice diffused green. So now I want to go in to Captivate, but I feel like it's going to be a big jump from Glow to Captivate. So I'm going to blend like the, I'm going to grab a little bit of both shadows to create like my own color and then we'll go in with Captivate and I think that'll help um, make our blending easier. Okay, those blended so beautifully and those two shades together created the prettiest like mid-tone green shade. I'm kind of obsessed but now we're gonna go in with just captivate um, to deepen this up further so you can see that captivate by itself is definitely a much darker deeper shade but these are all gonna blend so nicely into each other one because it's just two shades 
that are already blended together. Um, but two, it's just, yeah, it's just going to create a nice gradient. So that is one of my favorite things to do is combine two shades to create a perfect transition shade between two other shades. This is a perfect like Christmassy green. I know that that's not necessarily the point of this palette, but I'm just saying <laughs> we created the perfect little Christmassy green right here. And I'm diffusing the edge on Captivate with just what's left over on this brush. That is really pretty, if I do say so myself. So now I'm going into the shade Aurora, which is this shimmer shade here. I'm gonna spray it with Fix Plus. And we know this shade likes to pull, or yesterday it wanted to pull a little bit more gold. Yeah, it definitely has like a higher gold shine, but I think that'll work nicely It'll just be like kind of like a hint of purple depending on how um, my eye is looking. But I think next to the green, it'll be really pretty. Somebody tell me why Breaking Free from High School Musical is stuck, to my, stuck in my head right now. Okay, next we're going in with Light Show. Everybody on um, Instagram was like hyped in my comments about this shade when I swatched it. Um, and I was like, that's funny because that wasn't necessarily a shade that I was like looking forward to. Like there's other shades in this palette that like got me excited and not that this one was bad. I just, it wasn't one that like I was dying to use, but let's see. It's a really pretty green. It's kind of got like a, a dingy like brassiness to it. I might add in some black with Captivate just to get a little bit more depth because that green's pretty dark. It's like a black base almost duochrome. So yeah, we might do that just to get a little bit better of a blend between the mattes and the shimmer. But ooh, I still really like this. This is a yet another look that eh, I kind of stuck to the monochromatic column. I did do that. I'm sorry. I usually try to mix up the looks a little bit more to give you more inspiration than like sticking to a specific column ne necessarily does because I feel like with Simply Posh they give you each column so you inherently have six looks that you could do and I do love to do that when I don't really want to think um, and just run down the row but for these videos I usually try and do something a little bit more exci <laughs> exciting and like mix things up to show you how it can look different but oh well we didn't do that. I thought with that purple we'd be doing, we'd be adding something, but it's definitely pulling more gold. Yeah, so we're gonna take, ooh, should I do Captivate with Magnetic? Maybe we go for blue instead of black and then we can try another shade. And that might give us like a gr like a really like murky green teal. Okay, well that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna mix Magnetic and Captivate. Um, I'm trying to decide if we wanna do a wing again. I kinda of feel like we do. I just wanted to see what the blue by itself looked like and it's barely there, but still gives some definition, so I'm into it. Okay, this is essentially what the look is gonna look like. I haven't decided on the lower lash line yet, so you'll find out in a second what I decided. <laughs> Here's the finished look. It's actually been done for a couple of hours now because I got so excited to film a live that I just jumped on live without finishing this. Um, if you haven't seen it, I think it's listed on the live section of my page. I don't know, but we went live to tier rank all of the eyeshadow palettes I almost bought but didn't this year. So it was a really fun time and thank you to everybody who is watching this now but was in the chat for the live. Um, you're all amazing. Am I in cinematic mode? I am, God damn it. I know a lot of you told me before that you don't, the cinematic thing doesn't make a difference and you don't really care, but I care. <laughs> I care. Uh, anyways, I um, don't know what I was gonna say. Uh, oh, let's talk about this palette. So I obviously did the same mattes on bottom that I did on top, but then I did something special in the inner corner. I went in with the shade Surreal and then decided that that was a little too dark for the inner corner, so I went over it with the shade Twinkling to give it a little bit of a shine. It's still a little bit darker than I would normally go for in the inner corner, but I kind of think it's fun, and it definitely, I think, the blue with the greens gives the Aurora Lights vibe. So let's think about how many shades I've used. So we use one, two, I've used 13 out of the 18 shades. So I have five shades left. Um, 
out of my curiosity, I'm gonna see which five. Okay, let's put them next to each other. So we have one. I just wanna see if I could create like a, co a color story with just these five. Okay, here's the color story of what's left. I feel like I could do something with that, honestly. Um, but we have like the bright blue, the bright pink, the dark teal, the gray, and then the really pretty shimmer that caught my attention, which was magical. I don't know if any of you cared about that, but that would be fun to try and do a look with those shades that are left. But anywho, let's talk about this palette. I think I said it yesterday. This might be one of my favorite, if not my favorite, Simply Posh palette. I think as of right now, I think Fairy Tale Fairies might hold my spot that spot as my favorite, but this one, I might like this one a little bit better than Fairy Tale Fairies. I'm not sure. I have to use it more. I've only done twice or done done twice. Done two looks, used it twice. Uh, but I really like this. I thought the mattes blended really nice. I think the shimmers look nice on the lid. They're duochromed, not multi-chromed. So you still get some of that shiftiness, but not quite as much. So yeah, I don't know. I'm really happy with how this look turned out. Let me know what you think of the two looks, which one you like better um, in the comments down below. If you plan on picking up this palette, if you skipped it, what have you. Love chatting with all of you. And I will see you all next time. Bye.